At the extreme point of Spurn Head here is the lifeboat station, where the call-out rate is one of the busiest in the country. The Humber lifeboat has been here since 1810, originally established because so many ships were getting wrecked off the coast here. And uniquely, it's manned by the only full-time paid lifeboat crew in Great Britain. And this is where the families of the lifeboat crew live. It looks like a close at the end of a housing estate, if you ignore the old wartime Nissan huts. The men are on duty for five days in a row, when they have to spend all their time here. And then they get a day off. And the bikes? Well, that's the quickest way to get to the lifeboat if a siren goes off. I'm going to see who's at home. Colin and Steph Fisk are one of the lifeboat families who make the isolated Spurn Point their home. So uh, you must be on duty today, Colin, eh? Yeah, well, 24, hours a day, uh, 24 hours a day while we're here, yeah. So, and what made you decide to join the lifeboat service? Well, being an ex-fisherman and, you know, sort of all this associate with the sea and, and fishermen and lifeboat and sort of go together and... And it just sort of an opportunity came up, so I took it. And how about you, Steph? What's it like being part of the families here? It's brilliant. Yeah, we all we all get on and everything. The kids, they can just play out on this like it's one big play park for them. But they're in like the hustle and bustle of the towns or anything like that. It's brilliant for the kids. You're pretty isolated out here, aren't you? Do you mind that? No, no, no. I like sooner live here than in a big town. Absolutely. Another former fisherman, the current coxswain at the station, is Dave Steenvorden. He's the first to be contacted if ever there's an emergency. I've got a phone call from the Coast Guard um, requesting a lifeboat to launch, go through on the phone. I uh, would then uh, set the pages off and we have a nice big siren and bell in each of the houses. And how long does it take the crew to get rallied and down to their boat? If we've got a boat broken down, it's in no immediate danger. It's still an emergency, I'll fire the siren off once. The lads know, don't break the necks, and we'll probably walk down the jetty rather than run. If it's life at risk, or even the chance of it changing to a life at risk, I call it a double bella, where I fire it off twice, and we're off like rockets. Today, I'm joining the crew for their training exercise. Without me holding them back, they'll be able to man the lifeboat within 10 minutes of the siren sounding. On occasion, they've made it in half that time. Dave, what's it like living and working on the station? It's, uh, it can be quite